Hey people, how's it going? So, thought I'd do the uh, the old apartment tour um, for Split. So, we didn't pay a huge deal to stay here. Um, it was about £25. I'll do the currency conversions for that down below. Um, and yeah, now in Split, generally speaking, you're going to pay a lot more than what we were paying per night. A lot more. But... You've probably heard in previous videos of saying things like, oh, we're gonna stay in the center of the place that we go to every single time. However, in some cases, that's not possible. Um, it's simply too expensive to do, to do that every time. So if you can compromise and get just on the outskirts, you know, about half an hour walk away, then that's, that's just as good, in my opinion. So without further ado, let's go and do the room tour, or the apartment tour, should I say. So, your front entrance here obviously got a nice aircon unit happy days that kept us nice and cool because uh, despite the fact it's been raining here it's been quite humid you've got a little kitchen area um little dining table and yeah cooker okay, microwave little coffee maker sink fridge all your amenities yeah you've got your everything that you need in there it's all good you know what i mean it's everything you need you know, it did us just fine all the cleaning products um got a tv here and internet um tv has netflix but we we already had netflix on you know downloaded and stuff on our laptop so we just did that uh interestingly enough you've got a little baby changing area actually uh, which is pretty cool so if you've got family then uh yeah i'll put the link in the description for this place uh, it's run by a lady called ivana she's so friendly very very helpful and she's got great decoration taste uh the only problem is i can't turn on the light in the bedroom so um might be a bit of faulty wiring or something but uh, yeah i can't turn on the light but that's not a big issue for us i mean we're not precious but yeah good sized bed you can't go wrong with that at all you've got your lamp Good, good storage, plenty for me and the wife. And uh, you've got this little couch here. Um, it was a little bit, it, was a bit, it wasn't the most comfortable to sit on, but you know, it did the job. I mean, come on guys, we're paying, you know, 30, just under 30 quid a half, 25 quid a night. You know what I mean? Crazy. And uh, get a little kind of porch area you can hang out in. You've got look, a little orange tree there, look. Maybe you can see that. Uh, a little error which came in handy because it was raining quite a lot and uh yeah finally a nice little bathroom we're going to jump on a bus today or a flix bus to go to dubrovnik which is a city which is about roughly about four hours away on a coach from here and split and we've used Flixbus before uh, we did Flixbus in uh, where was it going to Cornwall so again the video is up if you want to see that god so much sunlight <laughs> we're not used to it <laughs> um, torrential downpour <laughs> so yeah it seems like the weather here is just as uh, just as hit and miss as it is in the UK. <laughs> well, in October at least. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go and just jump on a Flix bus and go and do a four hour journey. We're not doing a night bus, as you can probably tell. It's not night. Uh, our bus is for 12.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. We've heard bad things about Flix bus in, you know, in Central Europe itself. But um, it is what it is, you know. These things happen uh, if things don't go too well, as long as we make it there. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be the most comfortable. It don't have to have Wi-Fi. All of that stuff that people sometimes complain about. It just has to get us from A to B. It's busier than it was yesterday i'll tell you that for free um yeah <laughs> i think the the rain's gone and the tourists have come 
which obviously I'm a tourist, so <laughs> that's technically true. But uh, yeah, I can't pronounce it, but Diocletian's Palace or something like that. It's quite a nice looking area. And it just so happens to be on the way to the bus station that we need to be at. The Autobusni, our oh, Autobus station. I think that's what they call it in Croatia. And uh, yeah, cool thing is, I ain't gonna buy anything for here because I'm gonna imagine it's very expensive, but down here, in this little area here, you've got like a downstairs market. That's very cool. But beautiful. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's nice, man. It's uh, very, I, I don't know, in a, in a small kind of way, it makes me sad, actually, because uh, the ancient history, like that, and it's just been reduced to tourist, tourist things, really. All right, so yeah, bus station's just over there. And uh, yeah, got through the, the big old crowds. Bit of a nightmare, really, because, uh, you know, it wasn't that bad yesterday. My oh, God, we should come out in the rain more often. <laughs> There's barely anyone there. I was, because we walked through there, my camera had died. I was like, I ain't gonna bother. I ain't gonna bother filming. Well, my camera died, so I, I can't film anyway. I could have theoretically gone, found a cafe, charged it, I've gone back and filmed. But I was like, no, I'll do it tomorrow, it'll be fine. You know, assuming that it'll be quite quiet. That does make me feel for the locals, actually. Yeah, I mean, they probably want to go and, uh, look at a piece of their own history and you know they see people dressed up as Roman soldiers and uh, I mean I don't I can't deem to understand the history of uh, of that place uh, but again as you probably know well enough I'm not really I, I, I love history I love history but I find it so sad when like it's been like ruined by tourism yeah it makes me sad for the locals because it's a slice of their history it's a slice of their their culture So we know where we need to go, we went and spoke to the ticket office and uh, it turns out that we're on platform five. Now there's a small issue with that and that is that there are, there's one, two, three, four platform fives. So uh, yeah, that's gonna complicate things somewhat, but uh, we'll just have to keep an eye out for a big green bus. And if it's not a big green bus, then we're gonna have some problems. And we're off. Dubrovnik, here we come. The main issue that I found was that there's like five different um, five different stops called number five. So we went to the uh, ticket counter and we were like, oh, um, we need to be, um, we need to go to Dubrovnik. And then she was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's um, day five. And I was like, perfect, okay, cool. So um, we went over to the bus station and there was three day fives, as you saw. Yeah, that added a slight layer of complexity to uh, to the journey. But thankfully, we're able to track the uh, track the bus, and um, yeah. 
So Dubrovnik, we've made it. And uh, yeah, wow, what a journey. Some of the most amazing sights I've ever seen in my life. I'm afraid Scotland, Croatia's taken the crown for the most mind-blowing views I've ever seen. But Scotland is still in my heart. Still a beautiful place. I'm actually going there next month. Um, so how did the journey go? Well, it was actually a lot better than the one in the UK, believe it or not. The one in the UK was, I don't know, man. It felt like it was lacking a lot of stuff. Uh, did the bus arrive on time? No. <laughs> it was like five minutes late. However, I like half an hour early. So that's quite the feat that the, uh, the guy pulled off. I'm actually genuinely impressed. Better, uh, better hurry up around this bit because uh, we've got uh, potentially uh, potentially monetized music trying to talk over it. Ah! <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, a com comfortable ride. The four hours flew by. To be honest, initially I was just watching some YouTube videos and then I was like, I can't even focus, man. I'm like literally watching these YouTube videos and every five seconds looking outside. So I just uh, turned on some, some music and uh, just had the playlist going. And yeah, I was just enjoying a bit of music along with the, uh, the beautiful scenery. And I pretty much did that for the entire four hours. Um, I actually have no complaints about it at all, this particular journey. I think it went really well. Uh, so now we're gonna head over to our apartment that we've rented in Dubrovnik. Um, we'll probably do a separate tour of the apartment in another video and uh yeah we're just gonna bask in Dubrovnik's beauty for the next couple of days and then head over to our next location via Flixbus again strangely enough so uh yeah so far so good it's got a similar vibe to uh to Split but I don't know I quite like it so far man it's uh it's very pretty so uh yeah Let's go and check out this apartment. So we've made it to the apartment. There's a bit of a kerfuffle to be honest. Uh, we didn't know if we got the right place because uh, we we're supposed to meet the apartment owner um, outside the front gates. And uh, because we arrived slightly earlier on our Flix bus, which uh, was very unexpected, uh, because we arrived earlier, the person wasn't expecting us there just yet. And um, so I dropped her a message and I was like, oh, you know, we're here um, a bit earlier. Um, but she might have not got the message, but um, she, she turned up at the time that we, it was only about half an hour away, but she turned up and um, she was like, oh, <laughs> hello, you know, you're, the, you're the guys are waiting for. So it got late to the apartment. Uh, we'll do the apartment review tomorrow because uh, it's chaos at the moment. We just got all of our bags everywhere. So we'll do that tomorrow once we've sorted ourselves out. Um, but yeah, we, um, you know, we, we enjoyed the, uh, we enjoyed the trip. So in terms of the cost of the trip, it came up to £18.50, which is around about $22, as you can see from the title of the video. Um, and that's, you know, four hour journey, you know, across Croatia for your beautiful mountainous regions. So you can't go wrong. Uh, in terms of the Flixbus, yeah, definitely preferred it to the English equivalent that we took to uh, Cornwall. Uh, it was a lot more comfortable. Um, and yeah, it just seemed a lot more easier to relax on this bus. I don't know what it was. So it was just a bit, it didn't get as hot as well. I don't know what it was, but despite the fact we're in a hotter country and it was hot today as well. The, the rain's finally cleared up and it's got, it's got a lot warmer again. But um, despite that, yeah, the bus was completely ventilated. So that was quite pleasant as well. So what's the plans from here? Well, tomorrow we're gonna stroll around, have a little look what what's about, explore Dubrovnik and see what has to offer as first time visitors to the area. Um, we're in an area called La Pad, which is just on the outskirts of Dubrovnik. Uh, so things are a little bit cheaper already, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, everyone's really friendly. The apartment owner, Maria, really friendly and really helpful. So yeah, we'll give a tour of the apartment tomorrow when it's uh, a little bit less chaotic. But um, yeah, we really appreciate you watching the video today. Uh, you can probably see that I'm ready to get everything uh, everything uh, you know prepared and sorted and uh, put together in this video which you'll be watching right now so hope you're enjoying it and uh, yeah once again I want to thank you for watching another one of our videos go and check out some of our other content if you're interested and you like what you see 
and otherwise have a great day take care and see you soon